this is Gu Jun Bu. Um, I am a professor and consultant uh, in the Department of Neuroscience at uh, Mayo Clinic uh, Jacksonville. Um, so we have recently published a paper uh, in the Journal of uh, Plus Biology, basically reporting a, a, a finding that um, a protein that's normally in, in your body help to absorb lipid also actually control your appetite. Uh, in the brain or in the central nervous system. Um, so this study was actually was a surprise finding because our, our research focus, uh, focused primarily on Alzheimer's disease. And um, we and others have found that the lipid, the lipid transport in the, in, in the brain actually um, have a big impact on one's memory. Um, and Specifically, in how neurons connect to one another, uh, this uh, uh, connection is called the called synapse. So um, we're actually trying to establish a, a, a mouse model where we can perturb this transport pathway uh, by deleting one of the uh, important protein called LRP1. Now, um, as we hypothesize, these mice have impaired memory similar to uh, what happened in human Alzheimer's disease. But what's surprising to us is that these mice also gradually become obese. Um, so we then sort of conduct further study and, and establish that um, these mice become obese because uh, they eat more and they move less or they metabolize less, and that's why they become obese. And we went, went down to figure out the, uh, the uh, so-called molecular mechanism that is a hormone pathway called the leptin signaling pathway that is perturbed uh, in these mice. So um, this study was actually conducted uh, primarily at Washington University uh, with uh, con continuation at uh, Mayo Clinic. This finding means a couple of things for the public. Uh, one is uh, we further provide evidence that uh, obesity is not just environmental um, risk factor, but there also there's a strong element of genetic risk factor, something you're born with. Uh, certain genes that you have a little more or less or uh, looks different than other people could uh, significantly impact um, your appetite. So, you know, people who are obese is not necessarily they just don't want to control themselves, it, it means that they have a harder time than other people to control their appetite. And the other thing this finding means is that uh, we actually found a new pathway that we can um, target to potentially find drugs or therapy to, uh, to, to treat uh, 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 obese. Um, and, and the other thing that sort of this uh, finding also implies, I remember we're studying Alzheimer's disease, and these mice uh, have well, have memory problems, they also become obese. And this provides a, a link, a biological link, between the Alzheimer's disease and obesity, and also diabetes. So these diseases um, seem to be different type of disease, but um, genetically they seem to be uh, linked. And we're further doing further study to figure out uh, why they're linked and whether the treatment can be applied to all of these diseases at the same time.